Right, here we can see the full range of Ronloo products that are available at this moment in time. Uh, I'm looking at the bottom row, the first one that came out was the Ronleaf Commander and the 100 and that came out with two different size lenses, a 16 and a 12mm lens. Uh, the 12mm lens gave you a larger field of view so it's ideal for air rifles. Uh, the 16mm one is uh, more suited to high powered rifles at longer ranges. And these come with three different scope adapters in size, so uh, you measure your eyepiece up, match it to the nearest one of the scope adapter rings, and then just using a piece of uh, insulation tape, just uh, protect the uh, eyepiece and uh, wrap it around a bit, put it on, attach your one leaf commander to it and then turn it until it's uh, vertical and tighten up the screws. Also available was the uh, 25mm and 30mm scope rings. Uh, now just recently they came out with the Rapid Fire Plus uh, scope uh, and together with the Commander, it was known as the Commander MV100 Plus which included both. This was a dedicated scope for the one leaf and uh, the eye relief on the scope meant that the actual one leaf commander was just the right distance because uh, with it being zero relief on the actual one leaf itself, being four, four inches was about just right so uh, when bought as a pair they're excellent, you just got uh, everything in the right distance to be a good picture. Now if you've already got the One Leaf Commander, you can buy the Rapid Fire Plus scope separately. Uh, but I will say that if you haven't got it yet, you do save money by buying it as a combination. Probably save yourself close to £100 or whatever, $150 doing it that way. Now the next thing that came out was the NV200. Now this is a 4K binocular. Got lots of software in it. Uh, these are forwards up, up, upgradable. So uh, the NV200 at the moment comes with a 35mm lens, but it's designed that you can swap it out for a 50 and 70mm lens. Not available at the moment, but there will be. This gives you more adaptability, even better quality picture view through the lens when they come out. So you can add that and you know as the time goes on. If you look at the one at the top left, that is the same uh, binocular, but to this it's it's been added with a laser rangefinder. Now you can buy that as a full kit or it will be available to buy the laser add-on not not too far in the future actually I think this they told me that it might show up on the website within the next week but if you just got the MV200 or you can't afford the laser yet you can buy the 4k binoculars and buy the laser at a later date but like everything else if you do buy them together it works out cheaper but uh, not everybody can afford to pay a lot of money out in one go so uh, it's there if you want it so uh, really new company really very similar to the pod but the star is sony processor i've been told by people that's got both uh, steve allen especially from agronology says that the one leaf is a better picture quality than the uh the pod so uh here we go so what i've got with me today is the NV200 and I'll go through it and all its uh, basically settings and things like that and uh, you'll see some views through it and all the uh, specifications so uh, let's carry on.
Okay then, from the website, the goal is near, day or night. Oneleaf.ai Find any taunted binocular where it's both in daylight and at night with an ultra long viewing distance of 6,567 yards in daytime and 657 yards in the darkness. The Find NV200 is an ideal addition to your hunting gear or spy gear setup. Now I have used this uh, at night and in the day and uh, it gives really good uh, quality pictures. I mean six and a half thousand yards in the daytime you know, you're talking six and a half kilometers so four miles so if you get clear pictures when you're zooming in that's pretty good now the NV200 allows users to maintain the advantage of the daytime at night to supplied with an 8 watt high power invisible IR illuminator 850 nanometers eight adjustable IR power levels helps to choose the preferred effective range and illumination level of an object observed. Now I have, I have used this out in the field, let's say from uh, say level 2, it's really bright, it goes right up to level 8. So uh, the further out your target is, the more you illuminate it. But uh, down at the 100 yard range at Tinsley Park, I found that uh, you really easily see the targets out to 100 yards. So uh, this, you can you can identify targets out to 600 yards. So I'm, I'm can, assuming that's things like deer, but uh, I can well understand that. And you'll you'll see the uh, view back when I do it at night anyway. But uh, yeah, really good illuminator that's built in. Now this is uh, probably what sets this apart from other night vision binoculars. Uh, it's the glass on it, it's really good glass. Uh, HD glass, uh, utilise HD optical glass and anti-reflection AR multi-coated lens. They work together to produce brighter and sharper images with accurate colour and height and contrast. I do believe the, uh, the glass and everything is made in Japan. Uh, even the processors are Sony processors, so uh, Japanese parts have gone into this, so uh, it's, uh, it's a well made piece of kit. So that is uh, the glass, many coats there, and uh, very clear. Well, as I've just mentioned about the Japanese glass, uh, you can see here HD and deli delicate image quality display for eye comfort. It says, uh, the magnifying glass of the NV200. It's made of Japanese Ohara optical glass with a light transmittance of up to 99.5% and a special coating process combined with high quality 2.98 inch IPS panel which dramatically improves visual clarity and reduces the screen door effect. Even in the outdoors with strong sunlight its natural light blocking design is effectively a void of interference of strong light on the display screen. Now these are the extra lenses that will be available, I'm not sure when but it's said soon. So uh, as well as the 35mm lens that it's already got, it will be available with 50, 70 and a 100mm lens. Uh, so uh, swap lens like your DSLR. So if you look down at the actual uh, MV200 look, you can see in the animation there's a little button on, on the underside. You pull that down and you're able to pull out the, uh, the lens. So the principal benefit of the MV200 is the flexibility to swap lenses, but unlike DSLR, it only takes seconds to change the lens. So there are uh, four lens options in the future. So that's pretty good. It'll be interesting to see what uh, what difference they make. So here's the image of the uh, MV200 being zoomed in and out. It's got a 20 times digital zoom. So it comes with 40 adjustment levels. Digital zoom features from 0.5 times to 20 times 
allows haunters to perfectly recognise details and offers an excellent overall view for a safe and accurate observing. I have used this, yes it goes up to 20 times, probably once you go past 17 times it will pixelate more, uh, but uh, having said that it's pretty uh, pretty powerful zoom anyway. So uh, that is the uh, zoom ability and it's just two buttons on the top for zooming it in and out. Okay so next up is the heart and brains of the one leaf range and that is the, uh, the Sony CMOS sensor which is a star vis back illuminated pixel technology that is used in the MV200 the CMOS image sensors it features a high sensitivity and realizes high picture quality in the visible light and near infrared light regions now this is what they've got on the one leaf 100 obviously it's also in the NV200 and this is uh, what sets it apart I think I'm not sure what the parts got in it but uh, this is a really good sensor and that's what makes them so good a quality and again the star is, is backlit illuminated pixel technology used in CMOS image sensors for Sony cameras and uh, that's probably why the TF files because they're Sony files aren't they so Japanese uh, make a uh, camera really it features a sensitivity of 2000 MV or more per 1 UM2 colour product when imaging with 706 CD M2 light source f.6 in 1S accumulation equivalent so if you look at the uh, leopards there uh, in Starvis and the conventional on the right uh, there must be something in there that uh, really uh, picks up the light Starvis Starfish Right, so uh, as you can see, records up into 4K by 120 frames per second. That's the highest resolution. Uh, it basically says, don't miss the opportunity to capture that once in a lifetime moment. 4K at 120 frames per second, 60 or 30 frames per second. That's in videos and 48, 24, 12 and 8 megabytes images. Could be saved into the included memory, which is a TF card and I believe it's a 64 gigabyte memory card. The optional supports up to 256 gigabytes and easily downloadable to your Mac or PC. So yeah, if it can record in 4K, it just shows you it's got good glass and it's got a good sensor. Now this just come with a picture in picture mode, uh, it's got a button on top of the uh, camera to press and that will bring the picture in picture on, it can also be done in the settings. Uh, to allow simultaneous display of two images windows using picture in picture taking only 10% of the total display area, the frame shows a magnified image of the target and allows the user to closely see the image in the target area and have visual control of the entire field of view at the same time. Now check this out as an option, HDMI projection, make target easier to see, experience your night vision hunting like never before. This binocular can connect to any compatible monitor or display via HDMI cable or HD video streaming. The video monitor display feature allows you to see the NV200 image and all content including picture in picture ranging from etc or larger monitors simultaneously so I ain't going to take a bloody television screen into the field when I'm doing ratting 
but uh, it does say uh, streaming so uh, you should be able to stream it to uh, mobile phone or tablet somebody else to see but uh, yeah he's got that option now check this out it's got IPX6 waterproof that says uh, MV200 won't fear when weather gets rough and your view won't be compromised thanks to its IPX6 waterproofing. Well I looked into this, I uh, googled IPX6 and basically what that means you can jet wash it and it's, it won't get uh, penetrated by water. Well, if I get any muck on this uh, pair of binoculars there's no way I'm going to use my car to jet wash it on it but it just shows you that uh, it's got good water protection basically. Can't say better than that can you? And then we've got the ultra long battery life, keep going all night. It's got three 18650 rechargeable batteries, provide 12 hours of continuous use. And unlike most rechargeable devices, it can easily be removed or upgraded with the included Type C cable. Simply plug the NV200 into any USB port to charge the battery. Well, what I've been doing on this, I've been taking them out the uh, camera and putting them in a battery charger. I just find it easier and quicker. Has got three batteries, and I would say if you're just using it to look through, you'll probably get 12 hours. But if you're filming for those 12 hours and got your illuminate later on the uh, ice level, there's no way it's going to go for 12 hours. Probably get a couple of hours out of it doing it that way. But uh, the, lo the longest you get is 12, and if in in big use where you're using the illuminator and recording, obviously it's going to reduce that battery life. We've got the ergonomic body style equipped with button backlit so that the nighttime operation does not panic. Back backlight can be turned on or off. Well designed. Should a wrist strap add portability and ease of use? In addition, the MV tool did silicon eye cup uh, improve observer comfort and safety. Now, this is one of the uh, things that I do like about this the backlit buttons on it you've not got that on the one leaf uh, commander but i would imagine if they do a, a version two it will have them on uh, there's nothing worse than trying to fumble your way around the buttons in total darkness but when they backlit like this you can see what what they press and it's not too bright that it's going to uh, highlight you to rats or bunnies or whatever okay so uh, it has got a connection underneath for a tripod. It says you have full control over the position of, of your MV200 with a tripod and freeing your hands. Just attach the MV200 to a tripod and you can focus on other things like hunting, watching Super Bowl or concert. Now I've used it on a tripod, it works really well. Ideal for uh, spotting on the range actually. I've been using it for that. You can just zoom in on your target and you can see where you're hitting. So uh, yeah, ideal for that kind of thing. And uh, finally like all the uh, one new products, comes with a two year peace of mind warranty. So if you've got a problem with it, you can send it back and they'll repair or replace it. And they are good customer service. Now if, if you send it back and it's a fault they'll, re they'll uh, return your postage so uh, that's pretty good as well software with lifetime updates uh, it is uh, you can set it to automatically update on the live updates I think mine was last updated in October for the latest update but you can see that when you go into the settings and here's a view of what you get in the kit so you get your number one is your MV200 with a 35mm lens you get a shoulder strap that hooks onto the back of the uh, camera on the on the loops comes with a bag now this bag I, I think you could have done better with, it, with this bag uh, it's more like a massive jeweler's bag but I prefer a proper case but there you go it is what it is number four a power bank mount yes I've seen this now that screws in underneath where the tripod would be and it's got a velcro strap on it so where the power bank will strap onto that I did wonder what that was for five you've got a cleaning cloth six Type C cable so you can uh, charge it up or plug into your computer. Seven Allen keys, eight user manual. You got three 18650 batteries and a TF card optional. So uh, there we go. That is the complete workings of the NV200. I will go through next the settings on the camera and I'll show you some 
daytime and nighttime shot. Now I will say that uh, daytime has not been too good recently. So well, it's been bad. It's got very overcast. It's not very bright. So uh, in daylight hours, probably won't be as good as what it could be because there's no blue skies. It's all dark. So uh, you'll see it anyway. So watching this part and on with the settings. Okay then folks, I've got the NV200 now on the menu uh, just to show you all the different uh, options you get. So first one at the top is the video mode, so it's set to 4K 120 frames per second. I click OK, that shows you all the options there. So you've got full HD 30 frames per second at 60 and 120 and then you go 1440p at 30 frames per second and going up to full 4k you got 120 60 and 30 frames per second they do recommend that for best quality you go for 4k at 30 frames when you're doing the night vision mode you just get a better picture that way so that is the uh, video mode if i click ok now it will, it will stick to the 4k 120 uh, moving down still images press ok and then you got from 8 megabyte to Photos up to 48. Press OK. Coming down, picture in picture. It's, it's off at the moment, but if I click on and press OK, when it comes on, you've got a picture that comes up at top center and it's a, a zoomed in version of what you can see on the full screen. So, moving down from that, you've got the lens options. Now, what you can see here. Uh, at the moment we've got the 35mm lens in the camera but uh, coming soon will be the 50 and the 70mm lenses they'll be optional you can swap them out like you can on SLR cameras and if you look at that it's also got the uh, setting for night vision as well so uh, I have been using this in the 35mm mode because that's what it's got in it uh, when I did the night vision shots I Put it down to this 35mm night so uh, it's set there at 35 at the moment because that's what it's got in it so press ok that comes out of that unit is the next one down press ok that's yards and meters i've got mine set at yards at the moment because i'm old school so ok on that movie clip time press ok on that now this means that when you start to record it'll either give you two minutes loops or whatever so i've got it set to 10. it's when i'm ready and i just don't know when they're going to appear so 10 minutes is a good time uh, so it's set to that at the moment the next one down is auto record press ok it's on or off i've got it set to off because what happens it automatically comes on when you switch your camera on but you don't want that really whenever you switch your camera it's just wasting uh, battery and film time so uh, it's off at the moment I'll keep it at that adjustment LCD brightness is the next one that's okay and then using the up and down you can see it brightening and not brightening so I suppose uh, if you're out at night and you don't want a big glare coming back at you, you can set it low. I think I'll leave it there at that. Moving down again because you go on to the next page. Exposure. Okay for that. So you've got settings for exposure. The next one down is stamp. I've got the date and the Lego on at the moment. You can have the, just the date or just the Lego. You can turn it all off altogether if you want. So that is that. Next one on is sound record. Might set to on because I'll record the sound. Let me come down to the date format. I'm on the uh, British date, which is uh, day, month, year. 
think the US one is month day year so I'll keep it at that I've got clock settings Give them format your SD card there press OK and just ask you yes or no in fact I'll, I'll format it okay so that's complete so it brings you back to the screen when done it tells you the version of the uh, software and everything so uh, I've got must be a 64 gig card in it but uh, they don't normally show you the full size anyway uh, some of it's used up and then the next one up is uh, factory reset and it brings you back around so that's all the settings on it and that's what you see through the screen when you're doing the, me uh, the uh, menu the only thing I can say about this is when you're recording this doesn't get recorded you only, it only records what's coming through the lens so this is obviously behind the uh, behind the camera so this you, you see this but uh, anybody watching on the recorder doesn't would be good if they did so you could see what you're doing but uh, what I'm doing now I've filmed this through my uh, mobile phone but that is uh, the menu of the uh, MV200 lots of settings on there really good first impression been brilliant what I will show you now I'll come out of that Here you can see what I'm doing now this is what should be on all the night vision items it's got buttons on because at night time you just can't see anything but these are backlit so you can so when they do the uh, one leaf uh, nv100 next time on the version 2 i suggest that they put backlit to uh, buttons on it it's not going to give the uh, your position away because it's not it's not like it's really bright so you can see it press it to go off see what I mean so uh, when it's pitch black you just can't see you fumbling around like a blind man but just by pressing that you can see all the buttons so that's a great part about this and uh, I think you should put it on the uh, the NV uh, 100 just to make it uh, easier at night time so that is the uh, menu and the uh, buttons so you've got the uh, the OK there when you're going through the menu you've also got your stills pictures and your video recording that's where you go for your man picture the pip when you want to go from daytime to uh, night vision you click on that one and uh, the more times you press it the brighter it gets on the torch and you've got your zoom in zoom out up to 20 times zoom so uh, really good piece of kit okay then just coming back to uh the actual page what I'm showing here is the price in dollars on the website and the price in, in pounds based on uh, the 12th uh, the 4th of uh, December 2022 now obviously uh, exchange rates all make a difference but currently if we start from the bottom left the scope mount at $39 that works out at £31.71 the scope adapters uh, they're $29 or £23.58 the one leaf commander whether it's a 12mm or 16mm lens price of those is $299 or £243 the rapid fire scopes at $359 that equates to $291.87 uh, if you buy the one leaf commander and the scope together that's $499 or £405.69 uh, then we we'll go on to the MV200 on its own it's $369 or £300 and if you go for the laser rangefinder version that's $519 or £421.95 so <clears throat> you can see right away it's uh, 
pretty good savings on on the uh, one on the rapid fire uh, the commander and the plus because a normal commander is 243 pounds and the scope uh, 291 pounds uh, whereas you buy them together it's five uh, 405 so uh, like I say save by buying them as a bungle uh, but uh, really good prices compare these to the uh, the pods are cheaper than a pod so that's a better picture quality while buy a pod when you can buy a commander so that is the uh, price range of the one leaf uh, the final part of this video which is coming up next are the views through the camera so I hope you've enjoyed this uh, video it has been a little long but I uh, gave you a full in-depth uh, view of the uh, NV200 from Onleaf, the uh, 4K iVis night vision binoculars. So thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.